Okay, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back. This will be weekend energy. Um, you will probably notice this is going to be a video that's going to upload before this one, so you realize weekend energy is coming out and you realize what this is all about. So, right now, I'm going to start a new list and start over. That could be a message for you if you watch the other video. Um, so, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, I almost did Virgo again, drop the pen, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, what am I missing? Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. So, we're going to do weekend energy. I'm actually going to do it the same as I did last weekend. And the deck can pick the order that we're going to proceed in. I'm going to start with water. Water, fire, earth, air. So, water, fire, earth, air. These all came out reverse. So you're dealing with some type of situation that, like, you just bleh. Just leave it at that. I don't, I don't even want to read into that. Just unhappy in a situation. Okay. So what are we doing? Water first. Water, water, water. I'm going to do water. Start with cancer. Weekend energy cancer. Just made me think of fire. You got regret. Compromise. Family. So there's a, a family situation clearly where somebody is regretting a situation. Probably better off trying to find a compromise here. I'm not digging this color. So someone's fearing a new start. Someone's fearing how to go about a situation. I don't know if somebody is doing shadow work or... Because this is like seeing your own sh shadow side. It, it's just fearing having a new start. Like you regret the way something is truly honestly going down or went down. Yeah, purge, let it out. Maybe you, maybe there's a situation that there just is no compromise. Like, there's no compromising. And that sucks. But this feels like a situation where it's like, you gotta let it go. But it's, it's it has to be an emotional release. So it's like fearing moving forward, fearing letting go. Fearing not being able to compromise. Tell me about family. Maybe you got family around that can help you out, or maybe this is a family dynamic that's just really tough right now. Vibration. So that's 
fantastic. That's like um, seeing something differently. So this is this is a cycle, okay? It's not the greatest cycle because it's lowering your vibration. You need to vibe higher. So whatever that's regarding, tell me about family because I feel like this is a situation that you need to let go of, whatever's holding you back. Palm tree, security, performance, growth, endurance, flexibility. Kisses wanted to come out. Unconditionally loving, giving affection, falling in love. So this is like literally letting, this is letting something go and starting a new cycle. This is actually fantastic. But somehow there's family involved. So I don't know if you guys have children or... Your family's like, yeah, do it. Because this would be starting a new cycle. This is a situation, you know, there's unconditional love, there's stability, there's growth. This is not a situation of growth, of moving forward. But it's telling you, you know, just don't sit in this regret. Don't let fear stop you from having a new start. There might be a situation where you might not be able to compromise. You can't hold on to that. A lot of people seek closure. People, you don't need closure. You're holding yourself back by seeking closure. I'm not going to lie to you. There's somebody around that's going to raise the vibration of family, children. It's going to change the whole dynamic. I'm just looking at the little tree here, the little tree here. You have something solid. This new star is bringing something solid. So I don't know if it's scary because you're falling in love again. There's family involved. You regret how something went down. But this energy, this vibration is beautiful. This cycle, this is new. Like let this cycle happen. So I hope that makes sense. Unless it's completely opposite. Like you have a cycle that's just like blah. And you got another one that's like yeah. Okay. Yeah, see this cycle is blah. But you can have a new one. This is codependent, obsession, possession, controlling. Has a blockage, resistant to change. Not wanting to let go. But then you have another situation here. That is a whole nother vibration. That can raise the family dynamics. There's, there's something, you know what I mean? And then you got butterfly. Could be a relationship evolving, going to the next phase. Someone that can come in and help heal a situation, even though right now it feels like there's, that's not possible. Okay. So it could be even tough for you to compromise. It's, maybe you feel like you're compromising your family. Maybe your family would be bent out of shape. But this is an unhealthy situation. Like a, there's a cycle that needs to end. It's clear as day. But to me, it's like already being aware of it. It just sucks the way something went down, apparently. And this compromise is tough. Is this hoping somebody else is going to compromise? Or is this like you got to release and purge? You got to cry. You got to let it out. Like you just got to like let it go. Sometimes you can't find closure. Sometimes you, you seek it, but you don't need it. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news, upheaval, transformation. So yeah, something, something's going down, okay? All right, let's go to Pisces. Wow, that took a little while. 9.22. Lots of twos. I want to say I noticed that in last weekend's energy too. Well, there was some video where there was lots of twos, change, new directions. So I'm actually going to change that because we're now at 940. Pisces, weekend energy. Communication. Divine masculine. In a child.
I don't know if you're going to get some type of communication, someone telling you there's some type of change here. I don't know if this is like a message from the universe, spirit. Let's see what the communication is. This could be a trigger. No, this is somebody who wants to be with you. It's like wanting to tell you. So I don't know if there's some childhood trauma here. You and somebody definitely want the same thing. You want to be together. Got big dreams. So I don't know what's stopping this now. Childhood trauma, like, I can't see or feel the blockage except for something with childhood. You know, it's like the way you saw the way your parents raised you, the way, you know, they're thinking about something. You're, it's like there's something from childhood that's keeping you. Like, you're definitely communicating, but there's definitely a, I hate to say it, there's some type of setback with somebody. They could have separated as, they could have separated, their parents could have separated, they were a victim in a situation. Yeah, see, this is linked to something. Hmm. Um, the door is open, and it's only open a crack, and it's bothering me. So I don't know if you're dealing with somebody who has, like, OCD. It's a privacy thing, and there's not even anybody home, so I don't, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Tell me about this inner child. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breaking up, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So, it can go this way too. Okay. Somebody really wants to be with you. You really want to be with somebody. Like, this is a masculine being like, oh, my God. Like, see him looking back here, like, vibing on a whole new level. It's nice, right? Um, it's like they're looking at this. They want to be with somebody. Like, you and somebody have, like, the same feelings. But there's somebody that's clearly not healed from something traumatic, Unless you left this scenario and this person's heartbroken because they saw a future. But clearly something wasn't working. So I don't know if you blocked communication. Like. Yeah, see codependent obsession, possession, block, resisting. So this was somebody who was resisting. It, this is somebody who wasn't moving forward, you know, and it, it, there is something to do with childhood here, too. This is a situation where you or them need to work on your own well-being. This is somebody who saw long term with you or something, so I, you know, but they're blocking it. Yeah, you have something here, like a twin twin flame energy, the yin and the yang, you know, coupling, complementing each other. So somebody saw this, and a masculine saw this, you know. Um, but then, you know, they're, it's like they're either resisting or this is their own blockage. It's tough. Girl talk. Yeah, so to me, this is moving on singly, happily, living in the moment. You're not, you're not dwelling on this. You're not letting this energy get the best of you. So clearly, there's an addiction, or there's a codependent situation, or there's a karmic situation, or this person themselves are just blocking something where it's like you can't move forward. And there's something beautiful between you, but it's still block. There's still a block 
okay? You're dealing with somebody who's still heartbroken. It could have been from childhood. But right now you have one energy that's just, as a feminine, like not having it. You're just hanging out with friends. You're moving on. Like there was a big blockage. Because to have a beautiful connection like this and have to let go of it, somebody has a major blockage. So if you're the one with the blockage, I would work on it, clearly. Take care of yourself, music, healing, sun, however, whatever you need. Because this is somebody who had to walk away from a situation. This is somebody who has self-worth. Because that's a, a hard connection to walk away from. But doing the right thing. And right now you have a feminine that's, you know what, it's like... I want to live in the moment. I want to have fun. That's that's it. Moving on. You know? So, I'm not, this is weekend energy, so I'm not going to continue to just kind of like more, 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 more. Obviously, there's a story here, but, you know, you want to restrict yourself. It's tough, you know? You're only hurting yourself because you got somebody else that's like, you know what? I'm not. I'm not doing that. And you, and you had victim at the bottom of the deck, so maybe it's just somebody who's, maybe you're dealing with a narcissist, somebody who's playing victim, who knows, you know? But clearly there's a group that's over that. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. Scorpio. No. Communication. Big dream. Well, that's all energy of ooh, all up in the air. It's like not wanting to believe it, see it. I don't know if someone blocked again communication. I don't want to look at that as a blockage per se. Got deception at the bottom of the deck. Maybe someone's chasing their dreams now. Maybe they're dealing with somebody who doesn't want to see something. Wants to continuously restrict someone. Because there was deception here. But this is disbelief. Tell me about numbing. This is like not wanting to accept that somebody's going after their dreams. Yeah, see, someone's getting some type of communication. There's going to be a need for forgiving forgiveness here. So somebody's telling somebody something, and that somebody, which could be you guys or whomever, you know, um, it's like disbelief. But this is, it feels like this is something that was absolutely necessary because this is somebody who wants to follow dreams. So you can't hate on somebody for wanting something better. Or maybe this is you and you, you're getting some type of message. You can't believe it through communication. But you know what? Follow your dreams. What's meant to be will be. Wasn't that the same exact message in Pisces? Same exact? Oh, no. Union was there. I forget what was here. Oh, yeah. That fresh start was over there, too. You must have shut down communication. See, you know, I feel like this is delivering a message. Because someone's just like in disbelief. That feels like a message being delivered. Yeah, that's a message. So there was already a tower moment. And this is somebody who doesn't want to accept someone, something. Someone thought somebody was going to win. What you're dealing with somebody was like needed to win at all costs, didn't want to accept something. Again, see, this is, it's like a feminine that doesn't want to accept something. Wanted something back. Maybe they knew they were being juggled. This is a husband and wife situation for some of you. Not wanting to accept that something's crashing. So this is a message that somebody is not going to like, and it's definitely going to cause arguments. 
someone might be coming together with somebody else or this is just what somebody wanted and again it didn't pan out I again I do like this energy because it is somebody who's going after their dreams you know see yeah fresh start so I don't know if there was a karmic situation here but this really does look positive this communication that somebody is getting does not look great This is somebody who really did want to win. But yeah, communication, union, happiness, enjoying each other. Didn't that come out? Yes, the two trees came out. No, it was a different tree. It was the palm tree. But the, it's still the tree ascending. Okay, so it's, it's negative, but it's extremely positive. Go after your dreams, please. All right, what was next? Fire. Fire, 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 fire. All right, Aries. Twenty-one. Aries. Abandoned, worried about abandoned, balancing of the scales. That's positive. That's something that's going to go in your favor. Separation and bound. So, yeah, you, you're probably in a karmic situation here. This is justice, This is which speaks of karma. So, wholly different vibration from water. Um, so, this is, this is tough. You know, it's like, I don't know if you feel like you're abandoning somebody or you're worried about being abandoned. I don't know if you're holding on to something. But something's going to go in your favor. Even And this all speaks of karmic, a karmic situation. But the, the balance on the scales is, is something still going in your favor. So don't look at something as a loss. What is this abandoned? I just saw the forgiveness card wanting to pop out. Family, yeah. See, somebody's at the crossroads. They feel like they're leaving their family behind. Tell me about the balancing of the scales. But Yeah, karmic, like I said, karmic. Having to go within. What do you really want here? This this stinks because you're in a karmic situation and you're feeling like you're abandoning your family and you're not. You're not. You don't just abandon something unless you are a complete deadbeat guy or a girl, okay? But this is this is karmic. It's unhealthy. You you are bound, you are trapped, you are feeling restricted, whether you were doing it, somebody else was doing it, like this is like not quite doing it, but like knowing that you probably should. But what's holding someone back, hands down, is that there's family and they feel like they're abandoning their family for something they want, wanting more. This is so, this is tough. And and that, that sucks. I don't feel a deadbeat at all. So you're not, you're not thinking about this the right way. You're just, you're not, and I, I hate to say it, whether you agree or not, you're not abandoning your family. Your family will always be there. You, you can't salvage something that's karmic. It's it's karma. The universe is going to interfere. Like, what are you doing holding on to this? It, it's time to go. Like, you're in a very unhealthy scenario. Yeah, you you know, don't, I wouldn't settle. You were settling. And now you're contemplating, you know, do I settle? Do not settle. I don't know if this is completely somebody else. 
because you do have somebody else right here that could have went completely silent on you, a feminine energy. But you are in a, a very karmic dynamic, either considering settling or... So you basically have an opportunity. You can settle and stay in the same karmic scenario and get absolutely nowhere and have absolutely no growth. Or you can go in a brand new direction because somebody came in and showed you something. And now that person is just kind of like, their back is turned. The biggest problem here is that you think you're abandoning your family. That's the bigger issue. You There's clearly some childhood trauma here. There's, there's something. The way something went down with you, it's like you don't want to replay it. But here's the thing. If you stay in this, that's conditioning. You won't break conditioning if you stay in this. It's... You're not abandoning a family, no matter who you are. As a reader, I can strongly tell you that. Feminine, masculine. If I don't see a deadbeat here. I see a karmic situation that needs to be handled. Judgment. The law may even be getting involved. It's it's unhealthy. It's karmic. It's an attachment. And you you like, do not settle. There's something better. No matter who you are, a karmic will never, you can't ever fix a karmic. They're here to teach lessons. You want to waste 50 years, 30 years? Go ahead. Yeah, see? Abandoned family, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship. This is somebody who does not have the same feelings you do. They just don't. So why, why... Why are you even thinking you're abandoning a situation? You're, part, you're better off alone at this point. So you can handle children if children are involved. Yeah, separation, sadness, thinking about you, unsure of the future. That's, that's like you're still teetering. Stop teetering. Universe is not going to let you. Tell me of the balance of the scales. They're just they're not going to let you. Somebody purposely came in to show you something, and now that person's like right there. You know, lightning. Yeah, that's like the tower. Shocking news, surprise, up here, transformation, sudden change. So someone's going to change their mind. The universe is going to come in and make sure you see something so your mind is changed, so you won't settle. Because you're in separation, but yet you're still bound. So to me, this is saying some of you are not even living with this energy anymore. But yet, you're still bound. Because you won't, you won't physically let go. Yeah, mirroring each other, self-image relationship, you know, reflection, old wounds. It's like you're holding on to pain. What's this union? So to me, you know, you might want something more, self-indulge. You know, this is self-worth. You know, like, what are you doing? Self-appreciation, self-worth. Where's your self-worth? Why are you staying in a situation where it's, it's one-sided? I, I guess you just don't want to see it or believe it. Someone may, you might be dealing with narcissistic, self-absorbed energy. This is somebody who keeps you exactly where they want you because they don't want to feel abandoned or you don't want to abandon somebody because you both have been through the ringer as a child. Like, who knows? But this is, this is not the way to go about it. Okay, because it's one-sided. Someone does not feel the same as you. I don't know if you're convinced the two of you feel the same way, but you don't. You do not. This is somebody who just doesn't want to feel alone and abandoned. But again, it's it's karmic. This is the tower. Like I said, the universe is going to come in over the weekend and make sure you see something. It, you and your karmic, that's why you're so attached. You have the same abandonment issues, the same childhood issues. I feel like a mother issue here, like a, a neglect of a mother. And it's like the both of you have the same issue. And that's why you're still holding on. But there, there's somebody else. Where's your self-worth? Why are you holding on to this? And at the bottom of the deck, preparing for union. You got union here. So this, you might be actually telling somebody the truth. 
about what you want. You've been bound in an unhealthy situation, somebody that does not feel the same way. What keeps you guys connected is childhood trauma. And there's something with a mother. Neglect of a mother. Both of you, not just one of you, both of you. So hang in there. The only thing that looks positive is this tower moment you're going to have. It's going to shake some shit up. But this is, that means the universe has bigger plans for you. Bigger, better. Something you wanted possibly. Yeah, six of pences. There's no even give and take here. It's time to move forward and be triumphant somewhere else. Someone is not even giving the same as you. Someone's not even capable of giving the same with you, as you. And with the six of pence being reversed, that's the scales again being balanced, scales being balanced. There was it's one sided. You were in a one sided situation. So you're gonna finally see that you were staying around for the wrong reasons or somebody was holding on to you for the wrong reasons. It doesn't make the situation easier, okay? But somebody came into your life to show you that things are easier and better. Everyone has their karma. Whew, that's, that's a rough one. But again, uh, I'm telling you, it's it's one-sided. I What's holding you guys together is no word of a lie, childhood trauma. It, it's what it's telling me. It's childhood trauma. And there's something with how you guys were raised. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna get the message. This was you gotta release this commitment, childhood, family, it, the two of you. Gotta let it go. You're gonna get the message. Someone clearly is gonna get the, the message this weekend. I deserve better. And then there's probably gonna be regret. That came out in what, Cancer, Scorpio, maybe even Pisces. So please, please, please hang in there. This is oh please watch your health. Two. Okay. All right, Leo. A lot of people do hang on to, to the wrong person because they have similar trauma. It, it does suck, but it, it's what people do. Someone needs to break conditioning. All right, Leo. Oh, here we go. Leo, you might want to watch Aries if you're just watching Leo. You're shifting your focus. Admired and settling, that's the opposite energy. Okay. Someone, again, could be missing you. This could be linked to the Aries energy. I don't want to go there yet. Tell me about abandons. Yeah, somebody's coming back. So somebody who actually abandoned you or somebody has to leave a situation. So, you know, we've got forgiveness. Yeah, somebody that needs to leave a situation but wants to come back. To me, I think you have to leave it where it is. And, re and refocus. I'm not going to lie. Because you're refocusing. So something might come in and trigger you. Or there's a trigger. There's there's something. But it's like all of a sudden this person's going to fight for something that they want or don't want. Or maybe you have to leave a situation to, to go in another situation. Tell me about abandons. Something just tell me to look at that. Tell me about abandoned. Yeah, see? One-sided relationship. It's the same thing that just came out in Aries. So, honestly, you should watch Aries. Now, this might be the return of something else, or this is literally somebody coming back to my Leos, and my Leos wanting something back because of a situation. Yeah, no, see? Again, self-worth. That's what that person needed. 
This is a situation that's extremely karmic and it's a must that you let it go. You have to shift your focus. It looks to me like you're admiring somebody anyway. So I don't know. Do you have options? You know, unawakened. Someone didn't see something coming. But yeah, metamorphosis here. Tell me about admired. There's family involved. You're being guided, though, to somebody you admire, the way you look at somebody. Or you still have a choice to settle. No, see, so you're seeing the signs. So you're admiring somebody else, or there's somebody else in the picture. This family is is a big blockage. Blockage. See, I, the answer is yes. You see, you know, you got to go in a different direction. You've been settling, but it's almost like you admire somebody else, but you're not moving because of a family dynamic or something. Again, watch Aries. Tell me about family. You know what that reminds me of. All right, looking at photos, missing you, nostalgia, but making new memories. This reminds me of one of the water signs. There was an energy that was vibing real high that would actually be really good for every family dynamic. See, again, being lighthearted, things coming out, adapting, changing. So, yeah, someone's family dynamic is definitely going to change. I don't know if somebody didn't see this coming. This is almost like karma being served and not in a not in a bad way per se. Damn. Holy shit. Yeah, see the Grim, Grim Reaper. It's it's over. The relationship's over. There's no second chances. You have to transform your life. Yeah, healing heart. Healing from a toxic relationship. The sword. Clarity, truth. So this is it. It's coming out. It's time to refocus. You need to let something go. You need to refocus. Yes, there's a family dynamic. Okay. But it keeps coming out that it's like the family will be better in a different dynamic. I don't know how to explain it. It's just the way it's it keeps coming out. You know? Don't 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 settle. Or this is somebody, or this was my Leo's that was settling, even though you saw the signs. You didn't want to see it. It's something you just didn't want to see. But again, it's like, there could be, a, again, a Leo here that's just one-sided, narcissistic, male or woman. It's just one-sided. This is somebody who just didn't want to feel abandoned. This is somebody who needs self-worth, shadow work. There's no appreciation. They didn't appreciate something or you didn't appreciate something. It's like choosing not to see something. So something needs to like come out and be blatantly obvious laid on the table and it's karmic the universe is going to make sure it happens okay so right now it's like stop settling in a situation yeah settling endings okay brings new beginnings change like stop settling for something you know that's not gonna work okay you see the signs follow your gut come on people Time to work on you. And I said that last night. I should probably do a video again of what it's like to release a karmic for those who have not been with me for a long time. You you just you literally the bottom line is you're holding yourself back from your own happiness and your own desires. Okay. You will have that person in your life again. So maybe you're upset that somebody else found it before you. I mean, that's just the way the apple falls from a freaking tree, guys. You know what I mean? Like it is what it is. That's somebody else's karma. If you're going to try to not hurt them or move forward because you're worried about how they feel, you can't stop that. You're you're creating your own karma and things are going to be a lot worse for you if you're trying to have somebody's karma be less hurtful or less harshful. Like, no, that person needs a wake-up call too so they can move on with their life and they don't make the same mistake when they move forward. Okay, so don't get involved in somebody else's freaking comma or try to think you can make it go easier for them. You know, like, 
you don't have control over that. The universe does. Sag. Sagies. Summer, summertime, summertime. Did you fall victim for something or is somebody playing victim? Yeah. You know, for some reason, you know, fire's being hit this weekend with something karmic, something you've been holding on to, feeling stuck. Yeah, again, karma. It's catching up. Tell me about summer. This is a cycle that you've been holding on to. Okay. Um, this reminds me of the Patreon read. Where something by summertime, soulmate came out on theirs. Spring, so something's going down now. Okay, new direction being guided now with spring. By summer, you guys will be fully together, committed. But there's still something going on. Someone's playing victim and keeping somebody stuck. Love that. Divine masculine playing victim. What feels victimized? Like the answer is no. This is again divine masculine holding on to something. This is probably somebody you're dealing with and it's saying you probably will come together with somebody. Or because the energy wouldn't go backwards here. See, it's like something's going down now. So you must know this energy. So I don't know if they're they're not awakened yet. Someone's keeping them stuck. I got a lot. I must have a lot of cross watchers because it this wouldn't go backwards. See what I'm saying? Like this is first. It's already taken place. So be careful who you run into over the weekends. This could have been you that since last summer. You had to leave a situation and go in a new direction and, and you know you're going in a new direction now all of a sudden with Mercury, shit's coming back around. So you know, third party, this was somebody who was interfering. I know you don't want to hear it, but I know you don't want to wait till summer. <laughs> but something needs to be clearly wrapped up. Even though you, this is like you having the inner knowing. Hands down, there's no question. You know how something's going to play out here. But you also know this is happening. You might want to stay clear from energy like this. Transitioning obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, prepare for union. So that's extremely positive because that's happening over the weekends. You might want to watch Aries and Leo. Okay. Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Okay, so again, it's around the corner. Somebody needs to wrap something up. You know what this is. It's so clear. Because it's already here. So you already are aware of this mess. So to me, this is like cross watches. And if you're like my Sag, like... You know better, but this is also telling me something's going to circle back around and you might want to be real careful. Or you're dealing with somebody who has to clear this up. Give it some time. That's It's just so clear. I don't even need to con like continue to read into that. If it's not clear to you, then this is not for you. Go watch your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay. I love when reads kick in like that and it's that freaking clear. All right. Taurus, 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 Taurus.
Remember, guys, weekend energy. Okay. Twin flame. Surrender. Got a strong connection. I don't know if somebody is trying to control it. So something, there's a metamorphosis going on. You're going to have a new start. Um, to me, it's with somebody you know, but you got to release control or somebody needs to release control. If you want something to transform, you need to release something. And it's probably, you know, childhood pain, something. Childhood trauma is coming in this weekend. I don't know why. Tell me about twin flame. So this is just an extremely strong connection you have with somebody, but yeah, you got to release it. This is not saying there was a twin, that your twin's coming in. I, this is, I got to read this very delicately because a lot of you believe in twin flames and that's where a majority of you will get stuck. Chances are you just, you don't ever end up with your twin. It's a catalytic energy. It's extremely strong and hard to break. What this could be saying, you know, some are, are lucky enough where you can work it out, and but something else needs to be released. But somebody doesn't want to sacrifice. Union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, everlasting promise. But again, feeling stabbed in the back. Shocking out of the blue. So this is, there was, you know, I, I want to say some of you thought you were with your twin and you could be committed forever or whatever. Yeah, it, it's just, it's, it's not like someone did something. This is like misconception. You know, probably could have been a one night stand. It's however you want to perceive it. As a reader, I'd prefer not to read any connection that is linked to twin flame energy, okay? Um, I think the way they put it out there is just, it's rotten. It's rotten. And I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be where I am today unless I believed it too, okay? Um, but this is like a shocking attack. Like, honestly, like it's, it's going to come out of nowhere. Maybe you're already married. Maybe you thought it'd last forever. Somebody else came in between because this is letting go. This is a very catalytic energy. Tell me about surrender. You were dealing with somebody who wanted all the control. Narcissistic energy too, possibly. Patience and healing, okay? Got to be patient on yourself. Something's transforming so you can have a new start. I really feel like you got sucked into some. I, I don't even know how to explain what I'm feeling. Yeah, see, you were bound. Um, it's, just, it's time to have a new start. Yeah, see, you're going to get the message. Someone's going to say something, piss you off. You're going to realize you're stuck in the same damn cycle. Um, tell me about received. Well, I don't know if somebody is going to come in to make sure you get out of the pit. Nope, see, Grim Reaper. That's it. Somebody's getting the message so somebody can transform and start their life over. A lot of people, you know, I know it's tough. A lot of people swear that they're going to end up with their twin or I know this is my twin, but it's, it's like the definition of a twin in the universal world is so much different than 3D and how readers read to you and, and tell you it's just, it's dark, dark energy. Again, I'm thankful for learning my way out of it, you know, and I, I do struggle. And this is the twin flame deck because somebody asked and this was gifted to me. And to be honest with you, if I knew it was a twin flame deck, I'd be like, Ugh. but it's also a big wake up call too, right? So, um, there's a commitment that's, that's over. And, or you wanted it to go on a whole nother route, like, or there was somebody who came in and slept with somebody else, and you're like, how could you do that to me? But, oh, yeah, no, that's catalytic energy all day. That's, that's the exact definition of a, a twin. It will break you. 
It's meant to break you. Like the, I'm telling you, the definition of, of the universal twin flame is not the 3D definition. Not even close. It's time to let go, heal, surrender. You are stuck. You felt bound. You, this part has a lot to do with like readers keeping you in that scenario too. Or a lot of people have um, kundalini openings, sexual kundalinis. And I feel that strong. That's like a kundalini all day. But it's, it's not for you to stay bound. But you chose to stay bound because of the power of the connection. It's controlling. So be patient on yourself. I'm not even going to say others. Be patient on yourself this weekend. Like something is dead. It's over. It's the Grim Reaper. No second chances. Grow. Have this fresh start. Move forward. I know you guys are, some of you are not going to like that message. But I am not going to pussyfoot around this. Let it fucking go. This was a catalyst. This is a karmic. This was dangerous. This literally, some of you, it's just time to heal and surrender, right? But I'm telling you, those who have had the experiences like I have, that's a can that's a kundalini awakening. That's intimacy. That's something you've never experienced. And that keeps you bound and hooked and makes you go crazy. This is like this energy is like restraining order. Okay. It's it's just a connection that it was strong, but it's all for the wrong reasons. And it's time to let go. And somebody's definitely letting go. And somebody is going to feel stabbed in the back, but don't you dare let that get the best of you. Others of you, you are coming together with somebody. I don't know when or how it's going to roll. Or if it's just talking about a commitment. But to me, there there is somebody... And if you do have a twin flame like that, where it's a soul connection, everlasting promise, I guarantee you guys are already vibing in the fifth dimension. It wouldn't be in the third dimension. You would live out your life vibing at like a fifth connection. Like, does that make sense to you? Like, um, Yeah, so you know, it's healing freedom from a toxic relationship. So to me, you were probably married, but or somebody purposely came in, the, the real person you're supposed to be with could have possibly interfered. And that was meant to be. And that could just be a catalyst. It might not be meant to be. It might be, again, a catalyst energy that just gets you out of that situation so you don't ever repeat it again. Because this is not something you ever want to repeat again. Nor will you once you start waking up to something, okay? So hang in there. You alright, children? Let me just see if there's anything else. I think you just thought it was something that would last forever, I guess. You know, I don't know. This is also spiritual bait on the board. Again, it's only weekend energy, okay? I am going to run to the bathroom real quick, which is fine. For those who watch all of this, you realize clearly I'm going to the bathroom because I just said it. Others of you won't even notice.
text on you my little bathroom thoughts. I meant to text my daughter to see how she was feeling. She had a kidney stone the other day, yesterday. And we are about to step into Virgo, and Virgo does for your health, okay? So check up on people maybe, or the message is just linked to health right now, okay? just came to my eyes, so the signs, I opened up my eyes, I saw the signs, but it could be life is outstanding, so it doesn't have to be linked to your health, for some reason I had to shut the door as if I needed privacy, and there's not even anybody home. G for Virgo. You really need to go in. Do not settle for less. I think you're settling or you're realizing. You're starting to understand like shit. I'm settling. So this is again, Hermit is linked to Virgo. Following your soul. Go, really going within. And this is like really understanding something and realizing there's a good possibility here you've been settling. But I love that you're seeing it. So if you're dealing with somebody that gets real quiet over the weekend, um, it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Yeah. You, I saw the sign. Yeah, you're putting up barriers. So you're not you're not talking to somebody, you're not settling for less. See, this is you've been holding on to something since fall. I don't know how many falls. Okay. Um it's something that's not good. Paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other. So to me, someone's been in your life since fall. Soulmate, abundance. See, you, I don't know who hung around for this. Because this is like since fall, it's like that inner knowing. So connection, partnership. Contract, keeping a positive mindset. Like, I got the goosebumps. Like, something since fall has been shitty. But it's beautiful. But then you got the snake, all right? So competition. So somebody, somebody's been in the picture since fall. October, at least. September, October. There's no way you weren't aware of it. But now you realize there's an energy that's been holding you back. How I, whew, I don't know if this is you putting up boundaries now because you've been dealing, like you're, you're seeing it clear that I've been another woman. It sucks if that's the case because you, this is somebody who's missing a huge opportunity with somebody extremely special, which could be you guys. That sucks. This is like somebody who's like missed an opportunity because they were holding on to something shitty. Do not settle. This is the weekend to put boundaries up. Yeah, you were having blast. Yeah, you met a soulmate. But guess what? We all have multiple soulmates. Yeah, see, purge. I feel like you're trying to dig your way out of something. Sheldon's like... Making weird noises, like he's stuck on the edge or something, trying to find his way out. All you gotta do is go within. It's 
to someone likes you. So again, it's like somebody came in months and months ago. Is, is really going within here. I don't know if you met him at work. It's just something you knew could be long term. Could be this energy could be stressed out. It could be you. See, it's like not sacrificing. They weren't putting the effort in. Yeah, so this is a masculine that was juggling multiple people. So this is a masculine that's um going within right now. I don't know if it's because you put barriers up. So this is telling me that you're either going to understand, somebody else will understand, but like got to let it go. So I don't know if somebody's waking up to this. See, this is tough. The energy is all over the place. Yeah, see, but that's extremely positive. Realizing something was toxic here. This is no longer feeling stuck, purging, letting something go. So the more of this reading this weekend, this is actually, this is actually a, a good thing. This is somebody no longer feeling stuck. This is somebody seeing something, knowing that they have to put barriers up, or I have wicked anxiety. Whew. Or this is somebody who put the barriers up on you because of the shit show you put them in. But if you ask me, this is somebody who really likes somebody else. Whoever came in, it's more like love. Okay, but um, now putting barriers up realizes like shit I've been settling like I've been doing jack shit since fall or something it's like I don't know another woman came in September October I don't know if this is your ex that came back in because you was happy as fuck so I don't know if somebody from the past came in and tried to come back in and they've been holding on to it ever since and settling but now it's like that makes more sense and now it's like I'm seeing something I'm done settling. So this is positive. Whoever this other woman is, oh, I feel for you right now. Because you had a blast with somebody. You really did. All right, Capricorn. I feel like that person's definitely going to come back around to you, my little bear ghost. Because somebody's seeing something, shutting one thing down and going after something that's just better. Whew, that re just gave me anxiety, man. Holy shit. Capricorn, weekend energy, Capricorn. Oh, I feel like I need a fucking break. Oh, here we go. You might want to go watch Virgo, my little caps. Yeah, see, somebody is seeing somebody clear as day now. Ooh, beautiful. You're already vibing on a whole nother dimension. I'm glad that energy is more focused on the on what's in front of them versus the other shit. Yeah, release and return. This is this is a this is a follow through for Virgo. So go watch Virgo. This is like a continuation. Tell me about understanding. Yeah, somebody is inspiring somebody to go, yeah, see, in another direction, admire. It's like being someone's mute, you're inspiring somebody to go in another direction. It could just be the divine. Everything that went down the way it did was meant to go down the way it did. That's a given. And I feel like in Taurus, wasn't I like, wasn't that the whole twin flame thing? Well, I was like, it would be a completely different twin flame, but then it ended up being like a catalyst. But I did mention being in the fifth dimension. So you might want to start with Capricorn. 
I mean, you might want to start with Taurus and then Virgo and Capricorn. Watch every element if you're just watching Caps right now. But there's something going down at play. Yeah, see, somebody's going through the dark night of the soul karmic situation. It's just, it needed to play out this way. Now somebody wants back. Someone's definitely going to feel deceived here, though. Or someone's been lying about what they want. Someone's been lying. I'm not holding on to it. Yeah, no, somebody was holding on to something. Since fall, if not sooner, somebody came back in and, and fucked with somebody all the way up until now. But this return is positive engagement ring, partnership, union, you know, thinking about you, letting you know. So someone is coming back around, like I said, somebody you probably separated yourself from or put boundaries up or you went into hermit mode. It was the whole solitude, taking care of you, you coming first. But that was actually the masculine energy. Regardless, okay. Or this could still be linked to the masculine. It is a masculine there too. So it's like a masculine wanting to reach out. So what's this understanding? They're hoping that whoever they put in this situation is going to understand. Yeah, focus on self-worth. So to me, you're already focusing on self-worth. But this is somebody who's actually realizing their self-worth too. It's almost like you made them a better person. There's, there's, you guys are already committed in the fifth dimension, so there's something here that's um, a meant to be scenario, a life partner. Yeah, see, this energy is going to want to talk to you. Somebody wants to be more than a friend. Or somebody's helping you get to where you need to be. But you ask me, it's more of the divine. Yeah, soulmate, partnership, soul contract. You, this is something you already agreed on. Yeah, memories from the past, but making new ones. So somebody is definitely going within. Again, someone's coming back around. Again, go start with Taurus, then Virgo. It's up to you. There's uh, definitely long term with somebody that's coming around. Might not feel like it right now, but um, it sure is. Let me just catch my breath because that clearly, um, clearly someone has anxiety. For those who are on my Patreon will realize when that true love scenario came out, I literally had to pick up, I got the goosebumps, I had to pick up all those cards because it was it was too much for me to, to handle at the time. So it's, it's too much for somebody to handle right now. It's not a bad thing. It's just somebody that apparently has to feel it. <sighs> I feel like I gotta fucking breathe, man. See? Trying to dig their way out. Let me take Sheldon out. Because I don't want to hear that. That was my Earth message. Hey, buddy. Wanna walk around? Walk around, walk around. Walk around, walk around. Oh, I'm just stretching. I almost like want to take a break and, and do air by itself, but I'm not going to. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, feeling stuck but being at your crossroads. So you're realizing you're feeling stuck, so that's good. Yeah, you gotta let something go. Purge, let it out. Yep, yeah, conclusion, wrapping it up. Crossroads. So there's money linked. I mean, this could even be a job. But you are coming to a conclusion this weekend and wrapping it up, letting it go. 
and putting up barriers. Obviously necessary. You're seeing something. I love this energy. I know it sounds awful right now for those in this situation, but all the zodiacs right now are, are getting messages and seeing something. So it's, it's phenomenal. Whether it's good news or bad news, regardless, it gets somebody on their path. So clearly there's, there's money involved, so I don't know if that was a hold up or if this is literally, because I do, I read love, okay? Um, but if this is work, you're just deciding whether or not you're going to take a job, leave a job, start a new job. It would look like to me, go in a new direction, new job, okay? But back to love. This is something that was not good that's being wrapped up. An energy that was keeping you stuck, or this is you that you're keeping yourself restricted. Okay. Um, it's clearly money involved. It's like I don't even need these. <laughs> it's so clear. I mean, obviously, I read them for you, but it's so clear you're getting it. Could have just been restricting yourself. So, welcoming love, meeting the one, opening your heart, perfect timing. So this was you restricting yourself. Somebody came in and showed you what it was like to love. It's not just self-love. Somebody else was in the picture. So clearly there's money involved. Maybe someone has more than the other. Maybe there's a marriage. Maybe somebody was just holding on to somebody because of money. But the truth is coming out. Someone's releasing. <coughs> Which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, but see, someone's going to feel stabbed in the back. Heartache, pain, shocking, deception. But you have... It's, that's their own reason. That's their own fault for not seeing something I'm telling you because this is somebody who kept you or this was you in a situation because of money this was like a, a like a, a meant to be scenario yeah so you're dealing with somebody not today sweeping it under the rug well here comes mercury bitches so they're going to put a barrier up or you are. If you ask me, don't let somebody else get that energy of the best to you. You put that barrier up. Yeah, see, someone likes your romance is blooming, flirting, flirting. There's somebody else that's making you see situations. Yeah, see, it's like that runner energy. Codependent, codependent listening to the ego. So, may, so you could have actually blocked somebody dealing with this situation because you're like, fuck this. But I, I feel like that barrier is, is more positive. They're doing the right thing by putting that barrier up. Yeah, see, I asked about barrier. Shifting the focus. Again, message received. Same one. Love it. All right, moving on. Somebody is realizing they were holding on to something. That was no good for them. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Take time for yourselves. Heal. Don't rush the process. That's important. Okay. Libra. Libra. Weekend energy. And again, remember, it's weekend energy. So if it seems heavy, don't, you know, weekend energy. Divine feminine. Free will. So you're going to have to make a decision. Tell me about fall. Oh, damn. Yeah, feeling trapped. So somebody was feeling trapped. So you've been, you again, I forget. Someone else just had this. It was in Earth. So I don't know if you're dealing with an Earth sign. But um, this is somebody who didn't want to let go of something, didn't have enough self-worth. Fear. You have a strong feminine energy here that's like going in a new direction. Like as we speak right now. Mm. 
You might be heading in a new direction with someone. Or you just realize you want more. This is what you want. Or you're realizing right now that somebody else was in the picture and now see it's not really a past. It's just like a guided situation. So it's up to you. You might already realize that somebody is meant for you or is meant to be. Like you must feel it, you know. You're still gonna have to make a decision. So you're dealing with a situation. You were dealing with somebody like since fall or, or, or you're dealing with a fall baby. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, I mean fall. Um, I don't know if they made you feel stuck. This isn't you being afraid to move forward. So this is another energy. Someone who is extremely spiritual. I don't know if that's very intimidating for this other person. Hi, Sheldon. I just saw him in the camera. <clears throat> Yeah. Ah, oh, so sad. I will tell you, reading it this way too, it's like recognizing somebody. You know, you're being guided. Someone just needs to let this fear go. Or well, someone's been in a dark place since fall. I don't I don't think it's my feminine. It, it could be, but I don't see it that way. Yeah, see keys on a ring. Like someone kept you an option or one night stand or something. Um I knew it was no good. Perception, learning from the past. This is maybe you just being like, if somebody comes back, you're like, fuck that. With fear, though. There, so there needs to be an ending before there can be a transition. But feeling liberated. Maybe you had to put an end to something. Oh, damn. So we have a whole new story here. And I kind of felt that as, as I was going around here. I'm telling you right now, this is something extremely spiritual. Okay. But it just changed. Now we have somebody that was abusing a situation. Someone's about to get their karma. Because the divine's involved. This is a shady bitch. And she knows that somebody else is in love with somebody else. Holy shit. This just took a turn. Yep, kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving, receiving, falling in love. Hoo-wee. There's that. She's getting a big wake-up call. This is somebody fucking high and mighty who just thought they were fucking high and mighty. Holy shit. So she's about to get a fucking wake-up call. Yep, since spring karmic. But this is also letting go, okay? But I don't have compassion for this. I hate to fucking say it. This is somebody who, narcissistic energy, charmed, kept her way here, created barriers between her and somebody else. Holy fuck. Connor's gonna bite this one in the fucking ass. And I, I'm telling you, I'm not that person, but like, get it. Because this is somebody who purposely, purposely blocked a connection. 
in a fucking devious way. This is it. I, there's all this karma being released. And it ended up being a, a, a feminine that was doing the wrong thing. And somebody is now seeing it. That's shitty. It's just, no matter, karmics are the hardest, right? But it, it's just fucking shitty. Yeah, purposely keeping somebody stuck. Here comes the tower. Here's the go. Here's your wake-up call. Here comes the sun. Comma. It is coming to bite you in the ass. This is not someone who's been stuck in a karmic relationship and, and I was the victim here. Nope. This is somebody who knew exactly what they were doing. Shady as fuck. Honest to God. I'm going to do a separate video for YouTube to let everybody know to go watch the Libra energy. Because this is the balancing of the scales. This is karma. This is the universe giving it and dishing it. And you got somebody who fears doing it. And I think they're thinking, because I don't want to hurt somebody. <laughs> nope. Well, yeah, maybe, but nope. It sucks. Someone's clearly being guided to go to somebody from their past and is making the decision to do so. Somebody kept somebody as an option for way too fucking long. You want to know why? This one. Someone's going to finally see it. The universe is going to make sure. Keeping somebody around emotionally. Emotionally. This is somebody who is emotionally and mentally knows exactly what they're doing. I'm not going to lie. I love when karma bites people in the ass like this. And it's going to be tough. But this is shady. This is not the average karma. Comic relationship. This is somebody who knew exactly what they were doing. Manipulating manipulative and somebody else didn't see it and that person was doing the right thing and knew they should probably go in another direction but was still holding off because they feel like it was worth not hurting another energy well they're gonna realize it now that they made a big mistake by what they held on to they stopped their own freedom their own happiness not listening to their gut so this is somebody who's making a decision to you know whack the Gavel? Is that what you call it? <laughs> this was somebody who was stuck in condition. I keep seeing the cassette. Yeah, see there's somebody else. Engagement, partnership, completion, union. They're going towards something pure, something real. And and it's guided. So this is protected by somebody's guides, um, a spiritual ancestor. I'm feeling masculine energy. Someone's guiding somebody to go in a brand new direction. That's it. So yeah, someone purposely came in. But also kept somebody in a shitty situation. Um, it was probably a one night stand that came in. Catalytic energy, spiritual bait, however it went down. Or just straight up one night stand. But this is an energy that's been stringing somebody else along. Because they think that they had something good there. They just didn't. I've been saying this for months. This is somebody who just doesn't see that somebody is a fucking snake. And they're going to see it. Signs, passion, insane chemistry, liking each other, having fun. So somebody fears this new start and they were fearing it because this one's involved. And they were too worried about hurting this energy. But this energy was purposely hurting the good one. Does that make sense? Shitty. This one's going to get their karma. I hope anybody that keeps somebody in a situation like that for the wrong reasons gets their karma. Like, wake up. I mean, I, I hate to say it, because if you're, if you're watching and you're this person, you're going to be like, oh my god, that's not the way it is. It's just not like that. No, no, no. Yeah, nope, you just don't see it yet. And you's about to. You's about to, so I don't know. You're about to see someone's true colors. Like, the minute you say or give clarity, you're literally about to see someone's true colors. And don't sit there and be like, oh, he or she. No, just don't sit there and say, oh, she's just saying this and this and she's her. And that. Nope. Nope. She really is this fucking awful. 
Sorry. Not sorry. She deserves this tower. This, she was malicious, and you don't want to see it, and you will. It's going to hurt everybody. And, and the masculine is going to be hurting big time, too, because they're going to realize what they stopped, how they've been dealing. For some of you, this is just your guides up and guiding you, but I feel strongly that um, somebody who passed over wedding rings, a union, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. This is a life partner. It's a life partner. There's going to be some guilt here when, when they realize, when they have this wake-up call. And this could be them just, you know, free. This could be as simple as, okay, free will. I'm just going to choose to go in another direction because now I have self-worth. I, I know my value. And I shouldn't be hanging on to this and this is given clarity. Okay? So it might not be this woman's awful, but, but guys, this is somebody who charmed you, like kept, like blocked you with boundaries by saying, oh, if you go in this direction, you know, this is, this is an energy that knew exactly what the fuck they were doing. So I don't think you're waking up to that. I think you're just waking up to whoever this other woman is. You're seeing something. You have all the best cards in the deck with this other woman. Unconditional love. Union. Marriage. Long term. Another union. A partnership. Commitment. This is beautiful because you got a masculine that's choosing to be with a better energy and more nurturing energy. Somebody that can give them what they want. And guilt's going to pop in here. Because they, they kept somebody since fall. September, October. That was fucking with another energy. And that came in. If you guys remember the read. Please go um, comment for somebody. Because this was the same type of energy. of somebody shady keeping somebody. This is somebody who interfered between a beautiful connection. has And, and has still been playing that interference role. Okay, um, and it's like you're seeing the signs. That's insane chemistry, having fun. Okay, this is there's a partner life partnership here. This was probably supposed to be a life partnership, but this is a real, true, pure life partnership. Whether you ever, whether you get married or not, this is someone you live your life with for a, a big group of you coming in. Okay, um. Yeah, toxic, unhealthy. This is somebody who kept you bound, kept you at the eight of swords, kept you restricted. Yeah, you restricted yourself. But you restricted yourself because somebody played on your emotions. Like they would they would only give so much and then when they felt you push away, they'd give a little more. This is not somebody who knows how to emotionally nurture another person. And I hate to say it like that. I'm not trying to be an asshole. There's just some people out there that don't have it in them. I have this awesome friend and she know, and she only has one kid and she's like, I swear I'll never do it again. The kid's getting older and she's like, thank God. She did not want this kid and she had it because the father found out. Like, trust me, she wanted to abandon like adoption or abortion. Like she wasn't having it. And she found out late in her pregnancy and she had no choice but to keep the child and the, the, the boyfriend found out. And they never ended up together or whatnot, but they still co-parent. But this is just... Somebody who just doesn't have that nurturing. Some people are just not meant. They can play mom, okay? But some people do not have that emotional nurturing. It's just not in them. And it's not because the way they were raised or it's just, it's not in some people. Some people choose career. Some people choose family, you know? I'm telling you right now, this, this you've never got the nourishment or the emotional connection with this person ever it's no it's not a thing this it's, this energy is not capable of it it's it's so clear this is somebody who sat on the fucking high horse thinking they were fucking queen shit this one's about to get kicked off at the throne somebody now realizes i'm telling you there's gonna be guilt that comes in here because whoever this person has been in this fucking ring of fire and this shit show, who knows where she is. But I'm just glad somebody's seeing it. 
again, it might not be that awful, or it's just not you're seeing it. Regardless, you have a masculine by the depiction of my cards, okay, that is choosing somebody else because they know that's, that's where that pure, raw, true love is, okay? It's just it's unconditional. It's there. It's a feeling. You don't even need to explain it because you, you can't explain it, okay? But this energy kept this energy bound. Came back in September, October, right? Fall. Yeah, came back in September, October and purposely kept this energy dangling. Sick dangling a fucking carrot. And whether the masculine wants to own that or not, they might not. Or they might be like, yep, that's not my story, blah, blah, blah. No, it is. You just don't see it yet. Because when shit comes out, you're going to see someone's true colors. You are going to see someone's true colors. And it's coming out this weekend. Because somebody's making the decision to have something more, something more fulfilling. Yeah, see, unawakened to a situation. It's, she chose not to see something. Okay. Um, so, you know, moving on. Moving on. All right, Gemini. 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 Love is in the air. Forgiveness, deception. I mean, yeah, somebody did something shady, but is still sincere about it. I don't know how to explain what I'm feeling. This is hoping somebody is going to forgive somebody for something shady they did. Somebody's definitely admiring somebody else. This forgiveness seems sincere. That twin flame scenario, that's the purging. That's the one we read in, um, I think it was Earth, and it was just, it was, it was no good. It was karmic. Okay. So somebody really is sincerely apologizing for the way something went down, but sees the light elsewhere. Yeah, see? Self-worth. Mask on. So they did do something that they do feel bad about, but, I mean, I want to say don't, don't feel bad. I feel like you've been dwelling. Because this, this is linked to the other one with Purge. It was the same shit. Yeah, balancing the scales, union, coming together with somebody else, wrapping up the past and going towards new. I, I'm not going to lie. Something shady went down. There was a masculine lying about something, but now is taking control of a situation. Someone was being controlled by energy. Yeah, see, there needs to be more self-worth there. Self-appreciation, time to heal. You are in an awful scenario. Um, you just really were in a, a scenario that just was not good. Yeah, see, girl with the snake. They they will forgive you. See, I this is so sincere. And it's almost like this is almost like linked to Libra. It's like... You have somebody who's so sincere and then somebody who just 
is not capable of that type of emotional depth. I, I just, I hate to say it. Me, 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 me. It's all about them. And I'm telling you, there's something so sincere here. Yeah, someone fucked up. You know? Maybe they're just trying to... Not want to hurt somebody. You know, something. Yeah, mask not showing their true feelings. Like, not really telling somebody what's really going down between them and someone else. You guys are somewhat linked to the Libra reading. You know, but this is now having that self-worth. Doing what's right. This is luck being on your side. This is who you're supposed to be with. I feel it's, it's calming energy, but it's extremely bittersweet of how something played out. Yeah, see how it's dated thinking. So this, this union won't quite come together quite yet. This is somebody who's going to want to meet up, have a conversation, want to be more than a friend. You know what I'm saying? Because it's bittersweet. So something happened between, you know, them over here. And it's funny because I said that. Not funny, but I said that in Libra. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I said it to myself. You know, um, I don't even know where this other woman is, but I know she's there. It's It was guided. It was so clear as day. It was something pure, true, and raw. Okay, so I don't know where she went, but um, you're gonna if you're that other person, you're gonna meet up soon with this person and have a conversation. This person's still kind of stuck with outdated thinking, conditioning. You know what did I do wrong? That song just came to me. Oh Lord, where did I go wrong? I forget who sings it. It's, it's almost like you didn't really go wrong. You were just held on to somebody that just wasn't your person. But they, in a way, they kind of played you. It, it's almost like karma on both your ends. You had to have played somebody and then they played you and now you're both even. And I hate to say it like that, but that is the balancing of the scales. But you still deserve something better and someone better because you're the one that is sincere somebody else there's no sincerity you know um just it is what it is yeah see the dragonfly being lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt change heal the sincerity there guys you are dealing with somebody with the energy of like not today don't want to deal with it i'm angry i want to avoid you blah 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 or they could have avoided this energy and and they're they want your apology for the shit show they put you through you got somebody who wants to be with you, wants to talk to you with this energy, you know, they're not telling you how they feel. And and now their self-worth is kicking in, which is beautiful. <clears throat> so again, you should probably go watch Libra. So that was, um, looks like there's a separation before love can come in. Okay, give me one. What am I looking at? I got one. Thank you. Oh, you gave me a couple. I got wedding rings. Okay, and hammer. So it's either sabotage or rebuilding, you know, working on it, working on you. And um, union, wedding, marriage. Everlasting love, promise, going towards something new, valuing yourself. All right, guys, I love you. I hope you have a kick-ass weekend, and we'll see you next week on Patreon. Bye, guys.